Dr. Nate Smith, rules of basketball. Rule number one, the ball may be thrown in any direction with one or both hands. It's remarkable to watch a basketball game and realize that we owe this to one person. There's no other sport that you can really watch and, and, and feel that way. And, and you can say, we know precisely when this began. I don't think James Naismith or any of the students who, who first played basketball in December 1891 at Springfield ever could have imagined the reach that it's had, not only as a recreational sport and a competitive sport at the high school and college level, uh, but the, the billions of dollars that are now involved in professional basketball, the fact that it's now one of the leading sports of the Summer Olympics. Barely <laughs> Rule number two. The ball may be batted in any direction with one or both hands. Obviously anyone who's made a living from basketball, whether as a player or a coach, a scout, owes an incredible debt of gratitude to Dr. Naismith. We're used to handling things like George Washington letters, Abraham Lincoln letters, great musical scores, and it seemed to us that Naismith's rules for basketball were in that same category. The great thing about the rules is what's also great about most manuscripts and documents. They're very tangible and they're very evocative. Just as you can hold a letter that was written by Abraham Lincoln or George Washington and feel that you're transported to the terrible period of the Civil War or the great period of the Federation of the United States, you can hold these and feel you were there with Dr. Naismith at the time that he invented this game that is gone around the globe and given so many players and, and countless millions of fans so much pleasure. Dr. Naismith's Rules of Basketball. Naismith spent a day thinking about the game and as he later said, he was the first person to play basketball. He played a, a mental game in his head the night before he introduced the game. He was so confident that he knew what he was doing, he walked into the school the next morning and realized he didn't have any rules to give the boys. So. He had two pages typed up that he dictated. He took them to the gym and posted them up. He felt he had a winner, and he'd been working with this class for a couple of weeks, and they had a reputation for being very difficult because they were tired of playing uh, kids' games or doing calisthenics or marching, and it was immediately clear after just a few minutes. I think actually said as soon as the ball was tossed up that it was going to be a success. Rule number three. A player may not run with the ball, he must throw it from the spot on which he catches it. The real genius, I think, of Naismith's rules is that they were not too restrictive or too constricting. Players flocked to the game because they could try to figure out new ways of advancing the ball. So the players developed uh, passing skills, uh, bounce passes, chest passes, they developed the dribble on their own. And so it was an ideal sport for sort of innovation and individual expression. Rule number four, the ball must be held by the hands. Rule number five, no shouldering, holding, pushing, tripping, or striking in any way. Rule number seven, if either side make three consecutive fouls, it should count as a goal for the opponent. Rule number nine, when the ball goes out of bounds, it shall be thrown into the field and played by the person first touching it. Rule number 13, the side making the most goals in that time shall be declared the winner. The rules look pretty good, I think, considering they were typed up in 1891. They're perfectly legible. Uh, he signed them later uh, and headed them basketball in the old-fashioned way of writing it in two words. And then I think uh, most poignantly, he's, he's added at the end, uh, first draft of the rules of basketball hung in the gym so the boys might learn the rules. Whoever purchases this will really be getting an important piece of American history, and I think you could even say world history, given the impact that the game has had worldwide. Dr. Nate Smith rules of basketball. He did say when he returned to Springfield for a commencement and he gave a speech, he said his, his goal was always to leave the world a little bit better than he found it. Thank you, Dr. Naismith.